Legends, how life came into existence. What would you say is your belief among the following? Would it be evolution theory? Would it be theistic evolution? Or would it be special creation by God? Or would it be the other? Okay, you, you um, want to expand on that? Tell me what your... Uh, but most of my, I would say that most of my personal belief probably lies in more evolutionary based ideas, mm -hmm. but unnecessarily, uh, there's a lot of questions I don't ask because I don't need to answer. Because uh, yeah, so you believe in, in like a macro evolution? Yeah. The world, do you believe kind of the Big Bang came in by accident without yeah, an so intelligence? Yeah, no real <laughs> set for stones. No, I, I, no one pushed the first domino. Let me ask you something. How does where does the first domino come from? How does where does the first domino come from? In my experience, uh -huh. uh, like I told you before, um, I find that a lot of time when you ask questions like this, we kind of take them into spiritual science. And take them. Sometimes I found I found them young. There's a lot of questions in life that are not needed to be asked. Our purpose in life is not to ask where we came from or why we're here, rather than do good to one another and keep adding positive energy in the world. That's all we really can tell everyone believes, so we're all full of energy. So would that be your purpose? Would you, what would you say your purpose is? My purpose is, yeah, just I'm a, I'm a piece of energy. I could either fall into a negative or a positive light. I try and, and portray myself and let everyone around me feel the light that I give out. That's positive. That's all I can do. I don't really like to, I don't believe in anything with labels. Okay. Okay. Did you ever study science at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you, do you believe in, we should, you know, do scientific I mean, exploration it, it, to determine It doesn't uh, necessarily causes. hurt to try and explain the uh, physical world that we'll be in for this life. It definitely doesn't hurt. It's helped us a lot. Medicine, things like that. Yeah. Um, we never try to only find ever trying to define them and right. cross paths with what we believe spiritually and then what we believe, which is in this world, was our spirit only resides in this world for a short time, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's a question that's very valid, but at the end of the day, I think that we're a little clouded. We don't really need to answer the question. But think about this. You know, one thing about science that we, we've seen through science is, I mean, a long time ago, scientists used to believe something called the steady-state theory. Have you ever heard of that? I've have not. Okay. Not in its actual definition. I may yeah. have heard of it in a lot of ways they explain themselves, but I can't say anything. Well, it was the idea that the universe was eternal, basically. Okay. So, you know, you think about this, if the universe is eternal, uh, it doesn't really have to have a cause, because it, it just yeah. is, right? It just is. Yes. Okay, but what scientists have really discovered now is that the universe is not eternal. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It had a beginning. And, and so, we'll have an so at one point, it, you know, we had all time and space and matter came into existence out of nothing. Okay, and but science also has another law called called the law of cause and effect. So in other words, whenever there is something that's effect, there's an effect that comes to be. There has to be a cause. The cause had to come to be. It had a beginning. It had to have a beginner, so to speak. Okay. So know that we had the universe had a beginning. We know that through science. Okay. The universe had to have a cause, it wasn't part of itself. There was no natural causes to cause something to be. So the only alternative would be it would have to be a supernatural cause, something outside of nature. Supernatural, right? So that cause would yeah. It would have to be outside of nature. Supernatural, right? So that cause would supernatural, but yeah. It would have to be outside of nature. Be outside of there, Earth. Because there was no electricity, there was no chemicals, okay? So the cause would have to be outside of the natural the natural realm. So, you know, given that, uh, you know, we really have to kind of extrapolate and look back and say, well, you know, it couldn't be nature. It couldn't be the universe's eternal existence. Or yeah. the universe couldn't create itself because you can't, if you don't exist, you can't create yourself, right? So it has to be something outside of itself. Well, I mean, there's lots of things. I've been taught many times when a Descartes became a philosopher, there's only one thing that can be proven is that I am. I cannot prove that I'm not portraying all of you and literally creating and manifesting you all in my own mind. It's impossible. From, a, from what you're saying. You're saying you exist. I, I exist eternally and that's all I can absolutely know. But that, that is one self-evident thing. And that's something that 
I try to apply to everything. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a permit to be here? Uh, to be on the sidewalk? Yes, sir. No, we don't. All right, you got to leave. You got to leave? Yes, sir. This is, this is private property. This is private property right here. Yes, sir. This is private property? This is private property. This is private property. It's owned by the Georgia World Congress. Is this uh, on the other side? On the other side, you can be over there. But so wait, this is, this is private property. Yes, sir, it is. So my state, my state taxpayer dollars, which funds the Georgia World Congress Center, which says this is also part of my sidewalk. This is private property, right? This is private property. Okay. 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 New Georgia Legislature. Okay. 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 You can take it up with Georgia Legislature. I actually am going to do that because okay. that's absolutely rude to interrupt these folks. Okay, where do we get a permit? Georgia World Congress Center. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Okay.